Good morning, and welcome to Prayer and Worship at the Love Center on behalf of Pastor Byron L. Broussard. Communicating with the Love Center is now easier than ever. Please text the words pray, love, or donate to 404-594-5717. Text the word pray to send your prayer requests. Text the word love for information on salvation. Or text the word donate to support our ministry. Thank you again for helping us take this love to the whole world. The Love Center Vision Statement, crossing all the lines to reach all the people with the healing gospel of Jesus Christ. The Mission Statement, we are a Christian church. Jesus Christ has issued to us a mandate for ministry to all people, especially the poor and lost. Our church seeks to identify and design a healing ministry to meet the needs of the total man, mind, body, and spirit, thereby making active disciples. The Intentional Strategy A commitment to the Word of God as the source of truth, a commitment to prayer, a commitment to praise and worship, a commitment to fellowship, a commitment to evangelism, based upon Acts 2, 42-47. Join Pastor Byron L. Broussard and the Love Center Academy as we acknowledge and celebrate the class of 2022, the Love Center Scholars, on Sunday, May 29th at 9.30 a.m. Please bring your family and your friends for this wonderful time of focus and inspiration. We'll see you here Sunday, May 20th at 9.30 a.m.
In 1967, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. expanded the civil rights movement with his call for an economic revolution that included full employment and health care for the poorest Americans. He would call his movement the Poor People's Campaign. The Poor People's Campaign is an extraordinary effort to bring poor people who are Native American, Mexican American, whites, and blacks to camp in, in Washington until there's real anti-poverty legislation passed. Tragically, Dr. King wouldn't live to see the campaign through, but it resumed under the leadership of his grieving friend and advisor, the Reverend Ralph Abernathy. And on May 12, 1968, Mother's Day, Thousands of women, led by Dr. King's widow, Coretta Scott King, formed the first wave of demonstrators. In the days that followed, thousands more joined them. Together, they built a temporary settlement of tents on the Mall in Washington, D.C. They called it Resurrection City. It rained so much, I should never forget. It was such a rainy saga period which kind of compounded our spiritual crisis. You have some 20,000 or so people who rally in the nation's capital. 5,000 or so will remain in Resurrection City, and their intention is to stay until Congress does something. Midway through the campaign, demonstrators suffered another painful blow, the loss of a valuable ally. In the middle of all that, compounded by the loss of Dr. King, we get the word Robert Kennedy just been shot. Out of respect for the campaign and Dr. King's memory, Robert Kennedy's funeral procession passed through Resurrection City. Three weeks later, the permit to use parkland expired and Resurrection City was closed. The campaign succeeded in some ways, securing subsidized school lunches in poverty-stricken counties, for example, and acquiring additional funding for programs that promote school readiness for low-income children. Dr. King had envisioned sweeping, revolutionary economic changes which have not yet been realized. And so the fight continues, revived in 2013 under the leadership of the Reverend William J. Barber II. We must bring poor people together, black, white, and Latino, Christian, Muslim, Jew, around the Poor People's Campaign, a moral fusion movement. We are going forward together and not taking one step back. The preaching of the gospel brings the heart and mind of God to the people who need to know and understand His will. God takes the yielded vessels and uses them to point us to the paths of hope and change for the better. In times like these, we need to hear a voice that will speak truth to power and love to the lost. Let's be blessed together now with Pastor Byron L. Broussard.